All right, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to post your game onto Netlify. Uh, so Netlify provides free hosting so that you don't have to just share your um, code pen, but you can actually have the game live and published. That will also separate your published version from your kind of working version, which is a good thing to do. All right, so let's assume your game is all set and you are happy with it. Um, everything looks kind of the way you like it. So within CodePen, there's an export button. There's a similar button on Replit uh, in the upper left. So in CodePen, you're going to go export and then export zip. Now, a zip is a compressed folder uh, containing all the files that make up your game. Um, on a Chromebook or a Mac or a Windows machine, really on any machine, you should be able to just open the zip from the browser. Um, depending on your computer, it might ask, like, do you want to open this with a zip opener or something? Um, in the Mac, it just opens here in downloads in that folder there, Squicks 2. So you need to get the actual folder of stuff. Um, and that will create this folder here. And there's a, um, a source folder and a dist. Dist stands for distribution. That dist folder is what you want. Um, that's going to be kind of the, the actual running game. And we can confirm that works by just double clicking that dist and running it in the browser. And here you'll notice in the browser it says file and it's giving me a local URL and I'm actually running that game locally. There's a chance depending on your browser and your operating system that wouldn't work smoothly. Um, but here it's working quite nicely. All right, so now I have my folder. I'm going to go to netlify.com. Um, and you can click the get started and either use an existing GitHub login or if you don't have one, you can use your email to create an account. I'm just going to click on, or uh, sorry, you can click here, sign up. That's another place to do it. I'm going to click login because I already have a Netlify account. Um, now the main button here is to create a new site from Git and that uses version control. Uh, if you're already using Git, great, but for most students, you're not. So we're not going to do that. You notice they have in gray here, want to deploy a new site without connecting to Git? Drag and drop your site folder here. So that's how we're going to do it. You're going to have to bring up your computer's um, file system, whatever your computer has, um, to show that zip file that you had, whatever folder it was. And you can then drag and drop that dist folder right here. And it's very quick. Now it has deployed the site in a new link, and there's my game up on the internet. At this point, I'm done. This game will be there forever. Um, there it is with Netlify.app. Um, you might want to go back here to Site Settings, um, and you can change your site's name. It makes up a random name. So I could change my name to be something I like, as long as it's not already taken you then get a relatively straightforward URL, like mine's now squicks.netlify.app. And anytime you go there, you'll see my game. Cool. Um, so there might be like, there's a few bugs in my game, like the, see it's not quite staying on the browser size the way I want. So you might want to update your code. Um, you can't update the code on Netlify, but let's imagine that I'm going to make some changes here. Um, for now, I will just, um, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to make this canvas display as a block and have a margin auto so it gets centered nicely. Um, and maybe that'll fix that scrolling issue I had. So I didn't make many changes. I just did two changes there to my CSS to center my canvas. So display block margin auto just centers the canvas automatically like that. Um, I'll go ahead and save this. Um, and now I need to export again. Export as zip. Um, hopefully your computer does a good job. See mine now has a new zip. You'll have to, you'll be collecting a bunch of these files on your computer you'll have to manage. Um, so there's my new zip. You see I've downloaded it three times now. There's my dist folder again. Now I go back here to general settings and where it says deploys, 
So sorry, this is back on the Netlify site. I go to my game. It says manual deploys. That means that I actually have to upload it manually. I then go to deploys. That's like a new one. Um, and this will now allow me to auto publish. Uh, you can set it up so that you get a test version first. You probably don't care about that, but if you had a game and you had a lot of users or something, you might do a test first. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to drag and drop the new folder. It's going to upload and it published. And here I can see all the publishes. So this one published 1035. Here's the new one at 1038. It's already deployed. Um, I can come back to squix.netlify.com and reload. And hey, that actually kind of did fix my issue. So I had this issue where it was kind of off the screen and that CSS fixed it and I uploaded the change. So now every time you make a change um, that you want to upload, you need to export a new zip and upload. But you've got a URL you can share with your friends. Anybody can get to squix.netlify.app. You might see, hey, is my game fun to play on the phone now? It's a lot easier to get there. You don't have that extra um, layer. So there you go. Under 10 minutes.